Hey guys, so from removing my spoiler, I snapped one of the bolts. So there's four bolts here. Those, those two are alright and this one is alright, but this one snapped. So this looks like it's a stud in there. I'm not sure how it is on the inside and how this goes on. But looks like I'm going to have to drill this out. And what I'm going to do is just drill it out, tap this hole, um, and then use a bolt instead of a nut to hold this side down. So hopefully that works. I'm just gonna try it out and basically that's how you would fix a spoiler. I mean that's the only idea I could come up with. Spoiler's in overall good shape. I mean obviously this tab is broken. I'm just gonna epoxy glue it back later um, and then we'll go from there. But the spoiler is all basically body filled and it's ready to be primered and all that kind of stuff but just gotta fix this stud. I'm going to start marking the center of the stud with my center punch. Now let's drill the stud out. Time to tap the threads into the drilled hole. I believe I used the M6 by 1mm cap, which is the thread for most of the Honda 10mm bolts. So since there isn't much room in the spoiler, the cap did hit the top of the spoiler and created a high spot. I'll just knock it down later and body fill it. Alright, there you go guys. I've tapped the screw, I mean well the bolt. It, my, my tap doesn't go all the way because um, it just hits and it's already creating a high spot on the back here. So I'm unable to get thread this all the way in to, to tap it fully all the way. So I, I'm going to need to use like basically a shorter 10 millimeter bolt. I'm going to try again, see how far I can cut before I hit. But it hit a couple times already. At least it felt like it. Alright guys, as you can see, I fixed it. I used a really small um, 10 millimeter bolt. These are, I have a whole bucket of uh, Honda bolts from you know prior car work and all that stuff that's left over from engines, etc. So there's not no slack on here. I tightened it down and this threads all the way in um, and it stops. So which is perfect. Um, the rest of them are going to use a stud. I haven't really bolted it down, I just wanted to check that one. So basically that's how you would fix it. Um, I'll show you, this This was basically the nut that was messed up. You see it's still stuck in there. So this nut is basically useless. But that's basically how you would fix um, a broken stud if you guys encounter one. You drill it out, tap new threads into it, and then use the, the bolt for it. I opted for 10 millimeter bolts because you know that's what all these four uh, bolts are, 10 millimeters, so it'll be easier to take off. I could have tapped it into any size I wanted, but 10 millimeter is usually the most frequently used on our cars, so that's basically it, guys. So I picked up this spoiler from, I guess, a guy that was parting out his car, and I picked it up for about 40 bucks Canadian, and I took it apart. Um, and this video is really about telling you guys not to take the spoiler apart. Here's some of the reasons why. So I do have the cover and everything off, as you can see, but there is probably zero chance of me ever putting this back together because every single clip that I took off um, broke upon taking it off. All these little pieces are all the clips that just snapped right off on the, on the edges of this spoiler. So there's clips going along every single side here, and this cover essentially comes off like this. Um, if you need to take the light out, it's pretty easy. You take the two screws off and you can actually get the light out by uh, kind of jiggling it around and it, it'll come out. It's just held on with two screws. That's it. The light is held on with two screws and nothing else. Um, other than that, I mean, this spoiler I was going to use for my car because as you can see, there's no dance or anything on it. It's actually in really good shape. All I had to do was sand it, paint it my color, you know, it could go on the car, but 
I wanted to basically um, swap the plastics over because the plastics on this spoiler, some of them were already broken and I, I needed to swap my plastics over. So while I was attempting to take this spoiler all apart, I was going to take mine apart as well and put the plastics on here. Now that's a lesson learned. I'm not going to do that. This spoiler is basically useless now. I, I guess I, I have no use for it uh, unless I'm going to use it to make a, a spoiler of my own. I've seen people just kind of fabricate a metal wing that goes on top of this and that's that looks pretty cool I would say. But other than that, um, I have really no use for the spoiler anymore because for mine I'm just going to be body filling it, all the dents on there and then I'm going to mask off the plastics and then paint. So this spoiler I'm not going to be um, reusing because I can't get the plastics back on. Um, I mean I could try and glue the clips on there but you know it's then it'd be a permanent bond essentially. But yeah I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys have to take apart your spoiler don't. I highly don't recommend it. Um, I would say just leave it, mask everything off and then sand it down and paint it or whatever it is. Uh, it depends on what you guys are doing but the clips are 100% going to break. There's no way of saving them. I tried my best and every single one broke. So um, lesson learned I guess, right? Um, but I hope that this video helps you guys out and if you haven't already please comment, like and subscribe and share the video I guess. Um, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.